Happy friggin' Sunday. It's a nice leisurely day. It's uh, there's some Florida weather coming in, which is good because yesterday was a hundred mile ride and we normally ride in thunderstorms on that for some reason. And yesterday was beautiful all day. Uh, so narrowly missed a Florida, Florida day. Um, you guys may have seen the video we did last night where we put the, someone said Lamborghini horn. So we put the, the Custom Dynamics Pro Beast on this guy last night, their new horn. And uh, it's, uh, it's loud. <laughs> so Custom Dynamics, job well done. You wanted a loud horn, you came up with one. Um, let's hear it. I just, I like it. Someone said, this horn's made in Italy. It says right on the back. And is this ginger ale or is it scotch and soda? That's for you to decide. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm unsupervised right now. The missus is going to pick up our little one. Um, so this is what this sounds like. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's the new the new Pro Beast horn. So check that out. That thing's amazing. Shut up. Um, the chirp's back on. She she wanted it. So, but in that same package, pardon me, with the Pro Beast was these cool lights. That we're adding the front end uh of course this being an ultra limited i have you know a headlight and two passing lamps and i have their probing turn signals but they make these cool lights for the lowers that i like these guys and they sent me these in the package with the probies yesterday so i'm going to put these on because i think that's pretty cool looking kind of reminds me of the led f250 headlights that mine doesn't have because while i have flashy motorcycles my truck is a tool much like its owner. And so it's just an XLT with basic headlights. And I think those F-250 lights are cool and that kind of reminds me of that. I'm going off on a tangent, I'm sorry. Um, someone said yesterday in the comments that they were dissatisfied with the angles in which that I use to do my videos. And I'm really sorry. So I think that you should call YouTube and ask for a refund. Is that as snarky as I meant it to be? Because I meant for snark there, so. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do some more terrible camera work and we're gonna put these lights in the lowers of my 21 Ultra Limited. Cool. So before we even get started, um, again, I'm gonna thank JNS Jacks because I like this thing a lot. So I've got her up in the air. Uh, nice and saved, 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 saved. Nice and safe, up in the air so that I can get it to front end, not some lighting and whatnot. And what I love about this is something as simple as you know, I get the bike up and then I just went whoop and flipped her around to the angle that I want so that I got room around her and can easily work on it. And then when I'm done, I'm going to, uh, you know, pull up the feet that are holding her still right now and spin that sucker right around and drop her right down where I want it. So thanks again to JNS Jacks. Um, if you're looking for one of these guys, as you can see, this is not your, your typical motorcycle jack. It's quite a bit bigger, quite a bit easier to use and made right here in the states uh and actually i can tell you that i talk to these dudes regularly as a matter of fact i've been con uh, going back and forth with one of their i don't know if they want me to say their name so i'm not going to one of the bosses at jns J J all morning and i can tell you that they're bikers they're good people um so jsjacks.com and there is a, a a code where you can get five percent off uh which is pro monkey capital p capital m we'll get five percent off one of these so go get one if you don't have one anyway so now um let me open the box and we'll see how this is going to go. Because I don't even know if this is an easy one, a hard one. Most of these are pretty easy, but we'll see in a second. So we are pulling the outer fairing. Oh, hang on. I'll show you what's in the box. What's in the box? All right. So you got directions, uh, the alcohol pad, your, you know, wire secure little pathing jobbers that these are really nice. They always give you more than enough to do the job. Uh, the adapter, if you've ever done a custom dynamics, these always plug in line with existing lights. That's where they get the power and whatnot. So the adapters and stuff you need, and the actual units themselves. So it's not going to be painful. I got to pull the outer fairing. There's more than one set of instructions. Oh, there's just another set of instructions in here. <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? Why are? Hang on a moment. No, I'm just stupid. So there's just three pages, and they were folded separately, so it looked like there were three different sets of instructions. So just page one, two, three, four, five, six. So or four, just five. So. First thing I gotta do is take off, I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna pop these two bolts off here. Whoop, whoop. I'm sorry, here and here. 
uh, unplug the wire harness inside there and pull this away, you know, leaving this sort of free from the bike. I'm then going to pull the windshield bolts, which are T27s, I think. And then they came up with a good tip, which is I like, and I looked in the direction. So you put this guy back in without the windshield just to hold the fairing on a bit. And then we pull the inner fairing Torx bolts. Then you pull this one guy so the whole fairing cap comes off easily, unplug the headlight, you know, bing, bang, boom. Set that aside nice and safe. And then we're gonna easily have access to the wires to get this done and you know, all that sort of stuff. So not that painful, we'll get at it. So that's done. Step one is take those off. You remember back in the days, there was always a bar that connected these two and made things a pain in the butt. These come off one at a time, makes a lot more sense. And I was just thinking, remember back in the day, you used to make tie down strap mounts that went behind this. I need to look and see if they still make those. Because when I'm loading for Sturgis, it's gonna be a lot easier if there's an easy access, you know, <laughs> mounting point right there. Um, totally off topic. Uh, but back on top it, I, I was talking to the Custom Dynamics people um, the other day, and I'm going to go to their booth on August the 4th and probably get something done to either this. Not sure what yet, because they're going to have some new stuff, hopefully, out at that point that they're working on. And uh, the old man will be with us. So if you're in Sturgis, remember August the 4th, if you're there that early. Um, as soon as they're open, I'll go first thing in the morning, because we'll have some riding to do that day. So, so August the 4th in the morning, I'll be at uh, the Rally at Exit, exit 55. Uh, Black Hills Harley um, at their booth. So stop by and say hi. And then now, fairing cap removal. If you're like me, you need visuals. And I just read the instructions about 19 times because I am not the brightest bulb in the pack. I've said a million times. And essentially what you're doing, I'm going to show on the video, is that, you know, this cable from the factory is, is, is hanging here, okay? What you do is take the factory turn signal wire and push it back through the hole. You then take the custom dynamics harness that's included, plug it in. See, I'm just going to pull this back out. Plug it into that factory wire right like I did here okay and then you take the custom dynamics new connector that will plug into your turn signals and push that back out the hole and then put the bracket back on that might seem simple to you guys but I was reading the instructions a bunch of times and I'm just a visual kind of person and so I thought maybe the video would help so again you have a factory connector that looks like this all right you push that through you plug in the custom dynamics uh, harness and then you stick theirs back out. Then you go ahead and put this light bar back on because that part is done. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, down, now down in the comments, say if that's clear as mud and I'll try and explain it, but that I didn't get from the text, but maybe that helps. So a bit of feedback. The directions make this look more complicated than it is. So they're written for someone who needs that sort of detail and text, like, someone who's an engineer or whatnot. I am not <laughs> an engineer. So I'm gonna sum this whole thing up real easy. I haven't even done the wire pathing and stuff yet, but I plugged it in and checked it. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pop these suckers off, right? You're gonna poke the wire back through here. It comes with a higher, uh, an adapter harness that the stock wire plugs in there. And then you stick the new one back out through here. So you're kind of passing through there. Then there's a long white wire that has a loop on the end of it that gets pathed up through here and adapts through the turn signal. Okay, so then you got off that original adapter harness a little like relay looking box here. Let me show you that when I turn, turn, turn the handlebars. That has the plug that goes to your new light down here. You then take a pry bar, something simple. I use this guy. So again, trim trim kits are useful, right? When you're prying pup stuff off that's you don't want to scratch paint. I'll put the link. This is the kit that I bought. It has way more stuff than I ever used, but I use the heck out of one or two things in it. You take something like that. The stock grill down here pops right off. You take the wire of the new lit grill that you can see is already popped in here. You stick it through this lower right hole. There's a picture of it in the directions. You take two screws out here to loosen this enough so that you can get the wire through, right? 
that wire is what you path up here and plug into this guy. And what you end up with is a white light in the lower. Let me turn down the radio for it. Go to the town on. Um, a cool white light down there, right? Those are your pro beams real well. And then when you turn the turn signal on, it's a turn signal also, right? I haven't sequenced the lights or anything yet. And then when you turn it off, just like your pro beams, bam. Now, this light's gonna be useful for me anyway, because at rallies I stay in campgrounds, whether I'm in the camper or whatnot, and some light down there at the ground, you know, like you're riding somewhere around there, would be nice. So I think that's gonna be actually useful. It's not just cool looking. I actually think I'm gonna get some use out of those lights. So there's where we are so far. I'm gonna go ahead and path that wire, secure things down, zip tie everything up, and then put it all back together. But if you're like me, and you sort of learn visually, you will figure this out. This is not complicated, but if you go down the rabbit hole of all the text, and the directions you can it can, can kind of confuse yourself so the point here is trust yourself you're going to figure this out but let me uh figure out some stuff we'll button her back up and show when it's all together also this gives you a chance to clean stuff because you know that 100 mile ride yesterday it's it's love bug season down here so look at how nice and clean the lower is lowers are now because i didn't want to work on something that was like carcasses everywhere um still got some cleaning to do you can see the lower skirt there and stuff I gotta clean. But it gives you a chance to clean all this stuff up. You don't normally have your hands on that easily. Uh, much less up on a lift makes it better. So let me uh, button this up and we'll show the final product. I'm happy to say that I'm back to my old antics where real time and video, I figure out what I did wrong. <laughs> so again, because my monkey brain doesn't process text very well, I just figured something out. So, um, Everything I've said earlier was accurate. Directions are now blowing all over the garage. Um, the left and right side, these white wires, they plug in tandem to one another. So this is an accessory plug. So in my mind, there was going to be a this side and this side. And I kept looking for another one of these over here to plug this in line with, you know, to give power to the lights. And there isn't one. And I was getting frustrated going, well, where is it? Da, 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 da. So I went back and read the directions a thousand times and figured out that they do fairly clearly say <laughs> that the left and right of these white wires plug together and then they plug in line with this. So basically this is just a power accessory plug off the bike or the other end is one of the two. Yeah, off the bike. And then you plug in your harness, you plug the two together. This is just power for the lights, right? So the fact that they're plugged into each side's turn signal assembly is what tells it whether left or right, you know, is gonna flash. So I'll show you real quick that everything works now. I'm just not smart. So that side flashes perfectly. Now this side flashes perfectly. It's just that they use one power port to power the white lights, as you see, off of both. That's all it is. That's just, it took me forever to figure that out. I was getting so frustrated. So yeah, I'm not gonna say it again because that's irritating. Now I'm gonna button everything up, put it back together. But if you guys, if you, if you are the, like me, where you don't take paragraphs of text and turn that into action very well, it might frustrate you. But again, it's not a complicated thing. You just kind of trust your instincts and you'll be fine. All right, her face is back on. I hadn't done a bat wing in a while. That was interesting, getting reacclimated because I've had road glides now for four years. First bat wing I've had in a long time. I've had bat wings, but this is the first time in a long time. So I forgot, the fairing cap's really easy, actually. <laughs> I forgot three of these torques, two on either side. Unplug, you know, pop her forward, unplug the headlight, and you're done. The cap comes off, and it's, it's easy. Cleaned it up a little bit after yesterday's ride. Forgot that the love bugs were everywhere. I mean, and I didn't even do that good of a job, but they were juicy yesterday. And the worst thing about love bugs in Florida is that they stink when you clean them off. It's funky. So um, one thing I did do real quickly before, uh, I'll back it out and show the lights and stuff in a minute, but you saw the video yesterday probably where we put the Pro Beast on the Y-Spike. So 
I just added at least 20% to the value of this motorcycle. This now has a CVO horn. I'm just saying, right? That's, this is just, it's so much better. You know, it's a tremendous increase in value. I wouldn't take less than 50 grand for this thing now because CVO horn. All right. Um, I just like that cover. <laughs> so I put it on. It's the only thing that looks like it on the whole damn bike now. I don't care. Whatever. You got to do what you got to do. Anything to make your bike not stock, right? Anything to change it, you know, you'll do. So let's back this out. So um, to plug the JNS jack again, I've had this bike spinning all day and it's just easy to do up on the jack. So. I'm gonna uh, drop those resistor feet, spin her that way, drop her down, back it out, and we'll show what the lights look like out in the real world. And then I'll bring her back in, use the jack again to put it at the angle I want, and store it away. So uh, for at least a few days, I get her back out to go for a ride. Got a lot of work this week. Ugh. Anyway, so uh, again, though, the JNS jacks is jsjacks.com, and the promo code is promonkey capital P capital M. That's five percent off. So let's uh, flip this guy out. And there you have it. I like those. Those are cool. So let's do the turn signals. And again, I haven't time the ECM yet you got to uh, turn the hazards on for a while I haven't done that but I'll do that in a second because it'll time out right and then there you have it there you are so I like these a lot these are pretty slick so that's it two quick things don't forget that today is Sunday but this Friday um, Today's Sunday, the 16th. But this Friday is our next uh, live stream from home. So it'll just be me and Mrs. Monkey hanging out, having some drinks, being stupid, uh, telling stories. You tell your stories in the chat. We actually interact with you guys. That's how we do our live streams. We talk to our friends out there. Uh, another thing, and a side note, um, I really appreciate this, you know, Custom Dynamics and JS and stuff, sending stuff, because this channel is um, unique in that it's a non-compensated channel, meaning that no one's paying me anything. I've said this stuff before, and I'm sorry to beat it to death, but I think it, it matters. I think there might be a, a some of you out there might wonder, <laughs> is this is not a commercial relationship between me and these manufacturers. They just give me, the, you know, gift me the parts, you know, put on, that's it. So when I say, I think those lights are cool, if you like them, you should go buy them. You can know that my only interest is my actual belief that those are cool and you should go buy them. Like, that's it. No one's, I'm not getting paid nothing. Um, and I think that's one thing that makes this channel a little unique. No disrespect to those channels out there that this is their job. Golden, you know, go for it. I just want everyone to know the difference is, you know, when I say, what did I do with my jack? <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh my God, my jack's gone. When I say that jack's amazing, I really like it. It's because I really like it. Um, and you should go check those out. Uh, Custom Dynamics lights, the hell, they're really, really good quality. The whole rear end on the spike that the Van Black gave me as a gift. It's beautiful. Here, I'll show you. She got a nice rear end. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's amazing stuff. You go buy one, I don't make any money from it, but I think you should go get one because the quality is phenomenal, the paint's really good, and if you know how to turn a screwdriver, you can do the job. Uh, and that's another quick note. I, one of the best comments I've ever had, actually it's an email that I got from a viewer recently that I, I truly enjoyed this, this comment, is he said, you know, I love to do stuff to my bike. I love to make my bike my own, but I'm not mechanical. And I don't work on cars, I don't work on bikes, and I don't know how. And the only thing that stops me from doing stuff to my bike is the cost of labor. And he said, this channel has made me do some stuff to my bike to go, I'll, I, you know, get the little tools that I need because I'll have them still. It's a one-time investment kind of thing. And I'm gonna start doing stuff to my bike because of this. And I'm like, that's amazing, that's cool. You know, I really appreciate that. So I hope if someone out there, they don't like to work on their bikes or they don't know how, not that they don't like to, they don't know how, if this inspires you to pick up a screwdriver and do something to your bike, you can do it, you know? Uh, it makes things a heck of a lot cheaper. As a matter of fact, the cost of these lights is less than the labor to put them on probably. So do it yourself. Have some fun out there. Make your bike your own. 
you can do this stuff from home and, and have a good time doing it. So thanks a ton out there. Don't forget this Friday, come hang out with us. I'm sure I'll do a video or nine between now and then just because that's who I am. But um, yeah, the only compensation I get, you guys hitting like, comment, subscribe, watching the videos, that sort of stuff. And then if you want to go pick up a t-shirt or a sticker, I appreciate that. It all goes to the Sturgis Fund. Uh, so professional-monkey.com is the website to pick anything up you might like. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care of each other out there. Bye.